welcome all today we shall see heat exchanger one of the topic from unit operations in chemical engineering we shall first learn what is shell and tube heat exchanger and what are its industrial application shell and tube heat exchanger provides large heat transfer surface meaning that it is used for heat exchange this shell and tube is used for heat exchange heat exchange between two fluids can be done with the help of shell and tube heat exchanger moreover it provides a large heat transfer surface so industrially as we know that most of the processes are carried out on large scale so these processes may require large quantity of heat and so this shell and tube heat exchanger would do to give the enough heat required to complete that process eventually we must have to think the material of construction that is required to fabricate this equipment since this shell and tube heat exchanger is continuously exposed to temperature changes there is a continuous variation of temperature and therefore this material this material should withstand the variation in temperature should withstand a continuous variation in temperature and therefore the material of construction should be chosen as such that it should sustain the high temperature changes most importantly what this shell and tube heat exchanger look like that is very important thing this shell and tube heat exchanger consists of parallel tubes okay you can see over here the parallel tubes this parallel tubes are fixed or mounted in a tube sheet okay these parallel tubes are fixed or mounted in a tube sheet tube sheet okay this is a tube sheet and these tubes are many in number what we call this as a tube bundles okay tube bundles and this all this all tube bundles or the tube bundle is enclosed in a closed fitting what we call this as a cylindrical shell this tube bundles is enclosed in a closed fitting what we call this as a cylindrical shell so this is a cylindrical shell you can see over here this is the industrial application where you can see this is a cylindrical shell this is a tube okay this is a tube there may be many tubes all these tube together is called as tube bundle and this tube bundle is fixed or mounted in a in a tube sheet okay or this tube sheet provides a support provides a support for tube bundles it provides a support for tube bundles it means that the tube sheets are present on either side on either side of this shell and tube heat exchanger therefore we can say that this equipment is meant for heat exchange and so there is there should be a provision for the two fluids one may be passing from tube side and on another may be passing from a space that is created between shell and tube and therefore we can classify or differentiate the fluid which is passing through the tube as tube side fluid the fluid that is passing through the tube is called as tube side fluid however the space that is created between the shell and the tube is 
is called as shear side and the fluid passing through this side shear side is called as shear side fluid the two fluids actually okay the two fluids actually are thermally in contact how since one of the fluid is passing from the tube side and another fluid is fr passing from the shear side so these two fluids even though they are separated from one another but they are thermally in contact physically they may be separated physically they may be separated but they may be in thermal thermal contact how because the tube bundles the tube bundles through which one of the fluid is passing and at the side of the tube bundles that is on that is on the shell side that is from the shell side one of the fluid may be passing so the two fluids are in thermal contact thermal contact so suppose one of the fluid passing from the tube side is hot okay it may be suppose steam and another fluid which is passing from the shell side is cold then these two fluid are in thermal contact although they are physically separated from one another so heat get transfer heat get transfer eventually heat get transfer so heat flow through the metal walls of the tube from the hot fluid to the cold fluid as what we have discussed one if one of the fluid which is passing from the tube side another fluid which is passing from the shell shell side these two fluids would be in thermal contact okay so heat may be exchanged heat may be exchanged and that is why it is necessary for us to understand what material that make up the tube similarly what material make up the shear side okay in one case suppose if the fluid condenses or evaporates the unit is known as if none of the fluid condenses or evaporate the unit is known as heat exchanger so what is the meaning of this one if none of the fluid condenses or evaporate the unit is known as heat exchanger since in this shear and tube heat exchanger only heat is transfer okay heat is mutually transfer between two fluids okay so there is no uh, problem whatsoever what we call that the fluid after giving its latent heat to one of the fluid which is cold it would not condense okay it would not condense if that fluid get condenses if that fluid get condenses or one of the fluid upon receiving the heat you operates then in that case we should not have to call this process as heat exchange process okay we should not have to call this as a heat exchange process so here the motive is that one of the fluid just passes on its latent heat okay passes on its latent heat one of the fluid which is hot or which may be a steam suppose then it passes on its latent heat to one the to the fluid which is cold so in circumstances if one of the fluid condenses that is a hot fluid get condenses or one of the fluid which when take the heat you operates we should not call this as a heat exchange process okay we should not have to call this as a heat exchange process so condensation is one phenomena you operation is other phenomena so condensation and you operation phenomena are different to that of the heat exchange process okay heat exchange process so in a shell and tube heat exchanger only heat exchanges so no condensation no you operation so it's a heat exchange phenomena so one by one we shall see the construction okay what are the parts that make the shell and tube heat exchanger as the name suggest shell and heat exchanger shell and tube heat exchanger so initially we shall see what shell is and what is the material of construction required to make the shell so shell is a cylindrical casing okay you can see here this is a cylindrical casing this is a cylindrical casing through which one of the fluid flows okay one of the fluid flows okay one of the fluid that moves or passes since there is a space created in between the tubes and the 
shell that space or through that space one of the fluid passes the shell actually this shell is made from carbon steel okay this shell is made from carbon steel that is the outer portion okay this is the outer portion what we call this as a shell which is made from carbon steel and the diameter of the shell okay the diameter of the shell is up to 60 centimeter okay it is up to 60 centimeter and it is fabricated from plates okay so this part or this surface which is appear to be cylindrical okay cylindrical it actually appears to be a cylindrical casing okay casing it is a its diameter is up to 60 centimeter and it is made from carbon steel the thickness of this carbon steel okay the thickness of the carbon steel used for the construction of this shale varies from 5 millimeter to 11 millimeter the thickness of the carbon steel or carbon steel that is used to fabricate this shale ranges from 5 millimeter to 11 millimeter now the next is tubes okay tubes these are the tubes which are present or which are enclosed within the shale okay it is within the shale these tube bundles or tubes which are enclosed within the shale inside the shale so standard heat exchanger tubes used in many industrial processes may vary in size and length as well so the diameter okay the diameter of the tubes so these tubes actually are very small and its diameter is up to 6 millimeter to 40 millimeter so diameter is very very small this diameter so so many tube bundles okay so many tubes can be incorporated or can be uh, put in this shell or enclosed in a shell what we call this as a tube bundles since the diameter of each tube may vary from 6 millimeter to 40 millimeter, millimeter and therefore many such tubes can be incorporated and all these tubes together would be called as tube bundles so the tube length actually ranges from 0.5 to 0.5 3 or 4 meters or maximum up to 6 meter so minimum up to 0.5 meter and maximum up to 6 meter that is the tube length okay that is the tube length the tube length varies from 0.5 to 6 meter and the thickness of the tube okay the thickness of the tube the thickness of the tube is expressed or measured in Birmingham wire gauze BWG okay Birmingham wire gauze BWG and thickness depends upon material of construction and diameter the thickness depends upon material of construction and diameter these tubes okay these tubes are actually supported by supported on tube sheets so support may be given to this tube sheet either by rolling or by welding or this tube sheet is a uh, tube bundles are supported okay supported or placed in the tube sheets and this is welded or either rolled okay here this tube bundles or tubes are welded to the tube sheet okay welded to the tube sheet or it may be rolled and to either side of this tube sheet okay to either side of this tube sheet so this side and this side to either side of this tube sheet channel is provided okay channel is provided this is called as channel and through a nozzle which is at the top of this channel one of the fluid moves and that enters through the tube side okay that enters through the tube side so here you can see so there is a nozzle and this is a channel and through this nozzle what we call this as an inlet the fluid moves through the nozzle enters in a channel and through channel it enters into the tubes okay it enters into into the tubes or enters into the tubes or passes through the tubes so the direction of the movement of this fluid is parallel okay parallel since all the tubes are placed adjacent to one another another 
and they may be parallel to one another and so the fluid when it passes through the tubes it moves parallel or the flow is parallel this tube or this channel is adjusted as such that the tube side fluid okay the tube side fluid can make one pass or two pass or many passes okay the that means this channel is provided okay this channel is provided with some pass partition okay this channel is provided with some pass partition then it can allow it can allow a fluid to pass through this tube side once or twice suppose here there is a channel okay here there is a channel then this tube okay this fluid would pass or make two passes from the tubes okay two passes from the tube so depending upon how many number of pass partition that this channel have okay how many number of pass partition this channel have depending upon that the tube side fluid make the passes tube side fluid make the passes through the tubes now the next one is the tube sheet so what this does mean tube sheet this tube sheet so tube sheet is the shortest center to center distance between adjacent tube okay this is the shortest center to center distance between two adjacent tube is called as tube pitch okay this is a tube pitch suppose this is one of the suppose tube bundle which is supported over here so this center okay this center and this center so center to center distance or the shortest center dist shortest center to center distance between two adjacent tube is called as tube pitch while the shortest distance between two tubes is called as clearance that is this is the shortest distance center to center distance is called as tube pitch and shortest distance between two tubes is called as clearance okay it is called as clearance now there is another terminology is associated with shell and tube heat exchanger that is baffles okay so here you can see these are these are a baffles okay these are the baffles so these baffles are increased what is the role of this baffle these baffles are increased to create the turbulence okay to create the turbulence as well as to increase the velocity of the fluid that is passing from the shell side or the shell side fluid could be could be could be created or from the shell side a turbulence may be created i must say okay turbulence may be created or the fluid which is passing from the shell side a turbulence may be created by the baffles okay so baffles are as one kind of obstacle for the movement of the fluid that is passing from the shell side okay so it creates one kind of hurdle for the movement of this uh, fluid from the shell side so turbulence is created once this fluid strikes this baffle turbulence may be created and thereby a velocity increase occurs there will be a increase in velocity and whenever there is a increase in velocity and whenever the fluid is moving fast with high turbulence then it can be uh, what we say there would be a high heat transfer rate okay there would be a high heat transfer rate because all other side or everywhere else in the uh, uh, in the shell there is a tube bundles okay tube bundles through these tubes the fluid one of the fluid may be passing so that fluid may be suppose hot and the shell side fluid is cold one and the fluid passing from the shell side is making turbulence therefore the contact time between the tube contact time of this uh, shell side fluid with the tube increases and so the heat may be transferred faster or heat may be transferred or heat transfer coefficient would be large enough okay so turbulence is required whenever a heat exchange between two fluid is to uh, is to be carried out okay so that is why the baffles are provided uh, to increase only the velocity as well as turbulence of the shell side fluid okay so high rate heat transfer would take place okay high heat rate of heat transfer would take place whenever the baffles are provided moreover 
the baffles make this liquid fluid that is passing from the shell side to move or flow at right angle to the axis of the tube okay at right angle to the axis of the tube this is the tube so this fluid would move at right angle okay this fluid would move at right angle if this fluid is coming it would strike the baffles and it would change its direction and you try to find out a way and therefore it has to move then perpendicular to this tubes okay so this baffle make the fluid that is from the shell side to move perpendicular or at right angle to the tubes okay right angle to the tubes moreover these tubes okay uh, these baffles i must say these baffles okay these baffles supports okay this baffle acts as a structural support for tubes and it also dampers against vibration so whatever the vibration during the heat transfer takes place whatever the equip uh, whatever the vibrations that may be due to heat transfer because the fluid hot fluid moves from one side and cold fluid is coming from other side so heat is exchanged and there is a lot of velocity changes occur uh, when the fluid is moving and therefore vibration may take place so these baffles would help to uh, cause or it provides a structural support okay it would uh, act as a structural support moreover it could uh, act as to lessen the uh, what we say vibrations okay vibrations could be absorbed i must say whatever the vibrations that may be created could be absorbed by this baffles okay now the next one is the tube sheet so this tube sheet okay this is a tube sheet okay you can see in the industrial application this is a tube sheet okay this tube sheet is having uh, what we say perforations okay large number of perforations or what we can say holes okay so these holes are drilled to the, to uh, into this tube sheet okay holes are drilled into this uh, tube sheet depending upon the pitch requirement okay depending upon the pitch requirement this is a pitch requirement so pitch may be triangular or what we say square okay this is uh, this is a tube this is tube this is tube so tube uh, pitch arrangement is uh, rectangular or we can say square here the tube pitch arrangement is triangular okay triangular so perforations are there so these perforations okay these perforations uh, are there only to um, what we say adjust the tube onto this perforation okay so this tube sheet is having perforations okay and each of the perforation could hold one of the tube okay could hold one of the tube and these tubes actually are uh, what we say joint or welded so these perforations on the tube sheet tube sheet must be what we call gasketed joint or this must be having a gasketed joint okay now shell side and tube side passes so already we have seen so this is a channel okay this is a channel and what we call this as a pass partition okay this is called as pass partition so this is a channel this through this all structure is a channel and this is a pass partition so shell side fluid and tube side fluid what we want to find out shell side fluid so the fluid which is passing from passing through a opening which is present on the shell side okay which is present on the shell side we call this as a shell side pass okay shell side pass or the fluid which is passing from the shell side okay passing from the shell side what we call this as a shell side fluid or the opening is called as shell side pass this passes okay this passes why this passes are provided so there may be suppose one pass or two pass okay if in the shell side if there is one opening and another exit then the fluid would be passing once through the shell side if there are suppose two openings okay two openings likewise here you can uh, express whenever uh, whenever we are dealing with the a fluid which is passing from the tube side okay passing from the tube side so the passes on the shell side here is possible one or two passes okay two passes so here in this diagrammatic representation we can see that the fluid from the shell side would pass once only 
okay there is no as such arrangement that we can make the fluid to pass from the shell side twice so there is no as such arrangement in this diagrammatic representation but that could be clear over here uh, in order to find out the two passes from the tube side okay two passes from the tube side so this channel is provided channel is provided provided which is adjacent to the tube sheet okay and this tube sheet carry uh, tube bundles okay tube bundles and these tube bundles they opening or they opens in the channel okay they opens in the channel okay this open they open in the channel okay they open in the channel so the fluid which is to pass from the tube side enters first in a channel okay enters first in a channel and it finds the opening over here okay it finds the opening over here and through this opening the fluid passes fluid passes and it returns from the other side okay if the fluid is passing suppose over here you can see it in this diagram the fluid once pass it passes through the tube and from the other side of the channel it exit as this channel is provided with outlet so this is a inlet to the channel and this is a outlet to the channel both are present on the on the different side of this what we say uh, cylindrical body okay so fluid enters passes through the tubes and then passes from the other side of the channel okay so here what we can say that tube side fluid passes once okay it passes once or it make a movement once through the tube side but if we want that the flu uh, uh, fluid from the tube side should make two passes okay two passes then this channel is provided with pass partition this is called as a pass partition okay pass partition so the fluid enters from one side passes through the tube and from the other side of this shell and tube heat exchanger the sh um, channel is closed okay likewise here suppose this channel is closed this channel is closed and here the pass partition is there suppose here pass partition is there then the fluid moves if it find when it finds that this channel is closed or then this fluid take a turn or it take 90 degree turn uh, or 180 degree turn and passes through the other side of the tube okay or from the other tube and runs anti parallel to the direction that it has made earlier and through this opening suppose here there is a opening present then from this egg opening it exit so here you can say that the tube side fluid make it two passes okay it make it two passes one in a parallel direction and in the other direction it moves anti parallel to the direction that it has entered into okay that it has entered into so we can say that the fluid from the two uh, fluid makes two passes from the uh, tube side provided if there is a channel okay if there is a channel or oh, sorry if there is a pass partition i must say pass partition so as many pass partition placed depending upon that the tube side fluid can make passes from the tube side okay or the fluid uh, from the tube side make the passes so the tube side fluid can make passes up to 1 2 4 6 or up to 12 passes okay 12 passes the flu uh, fluid from the tube side can pass through the tubes so what we require is the channel okay channel okay channel is required as many channel are placed so number of passes from the tube side would increase so why this is required in order to have a high efficient uh, high efficiency in a heat exchange the pass partition is placed in the uh, put in the what do you say um, channel okay channel pass partition number of pass partition is increased in order to increase the high rate of uh, heat exchange okay high efficiency or high transfer of heat okay so efficiency would be increased by uh, increasing the uh, increasing the uh, number of pass partition as the contact time of the hot fluid with the shell side fluid increases and thereby Uh, uh more heat may be transferred to the shell side fluid okay shell side fluid when 
if the uh, or if the fluid passing from the uh, tube side uh, is a suppose steam or a hot fluid from which the heat is to be transferred to the uh, shear sac fluid so if the number of pass partition is more the fluid would make number of passes from the tube side and thereby its contact time with the fluid passing from the shear side increases and thereby large heat transfer coefficient increases